All right, guys, uh, welcome. Uh, this is Louis Santana on the Unscripted channel, and I want to share some really cool things with you today. Um, uh, we've got a lot of questions, and one of the questions we always get is, gosh, we love drinking whiskey, but when we go to a big professional liquor store, it's a huge store, there's multiple aisles of whiskeys and bourbons and scotches, and what's the difference between rye and Canadian? And we're so intimidated that at the end of the day, when we go out there and we get these whiskeys, we come out of the store spending hundreds of dollars. Here's the great thing I'm going to share with you today. I'm so excited about it. I'm going to help you begin to be able to purchase with ease and stay under a hundred bucks. So tonight, um, obviously I went out and I wanted to refresh my uh, whiskey uh, bar and I knew that I needed some scotch. I knew I needed to get some old favorites. And of course, I love making old fashions. So I wanted to get a mix. Believe it or not, guys, all four of these bottles, and these are all regular size bottles. As you can see, they're all 750s, right? Um, under 100 bucks, and that's with tax. So I went into Total Wine today. Just real quick disclosure, uh, Total Wine is not paying for this. <laughs> not sponsoring me. But I wanted to share with you guys because if you're like me, nothing's worse than buying a cheap scotch and then regretting it later because you're like, oh, this stuff is horrible. It's scotch, but I got to mix it with other things and ice it down. I got to do stuff. I've been there, done that. I usually stick with McKellen, so I'm very leery of cheaper uh, scotches and uh, I'm super excited. I am going to be doing some reviews on these individually, obviously on Tex on Old Overheart and, um, of course, Greenstone. So be looking out for those videos because those are going to be really cool. I'm going to take you through the taste tests on all each of these three. This guy right here is my old-fashioned mix. Pretty simple. I'm not really familiar with it. So I am going to try it out for you guys, and then I'll let you know how it goes. So let's get right into it. So one of the key things that a lot of people think is that uh, the more you spend on whiskey or the more you spend on scotch, clearly those are going to be better. Now, sometimes that is the case, sometimes it's not the case. What happens and what drives price in whiskeys and also in just about everything is availability. So if it's readily available, you're going to see sometimes those prices are lower, right? So great, delicious, you know, um, starting a whiskey, you know, like Jack Daniels or maybe some Crown Royal. You're in that $20, $30 price point. I am going to love today's video because here's why. One of my old favorites is called Old Overheart. If you guys are not familiar with this brand, this is a very one of the most oldest brands of whiskey there are in the United States. In fact, this one right here happens to be the favorite of the Tombstone guy. That's right, the doctor himself, Doc Holliday. This was his favorite whiskey. And so that's kind of the legend that it goes. Um, I will start sharing prices with you in like two seconds. So I've got that. Um, over here, right here, is called Grainstone. This is a line uh, specifically produced for Total Wine. It's actually a really high quality scotch. I was actually quite surprised. I am so glad that we can now not break our budget on scotch because I love to drink it neat. But, you know, McKellen, again, is, you know, 60 to 150 or more. Uh, depending on what I get. So I am very, very grateful to Total Wine for being able to bring in this line. They've been carrying it for some time. They have several different types of barrel uh, barrels that you can get. And so uh, again, as I go into Grainstone, maybe I'll just do a video just on that. And then finally, my favorite right here, it's called Tex. And Tex is really fantastic. You can drink it neat or over a rock. I mean, at, at the end of the day, it really gives you a lot of movement and a lot of ability to be able to do different things with it as you want. You can even make it into an old fashioned utilizing this as well. So let's go uh, right into it. Again, let's go back to Old Overheart. So this is Doc Holliday's or was Doc Holliday's favorite uh, whiskey. What I love about it is, is the legend says that this was a very expensive whiskey at the time when Doc Holliday was, was, was pure procuring it. So because he was buying it and it was quite pricey, this was his favorite. But here's what the legend says, is that when he died, the makers of Old Overheart said, you know what, in the honor of Doc Holliday, we're gonna keep it the same price. We will never move the price. It will always be exactly the same, same price for the rest of time. Well guys, I think they've stuck to that because this beautiful bottle of whiskey right here, Old Overheart, 
$12.99. Yes, that's right, you heard me right, $12.99. I am gonna do a video on Old Overheart, so please check that out. If you guys love these videos, you're gonna start seeing more of them. I'm gonna be a little bit more consistent with the way that I uh, post videos. Um, so just subscribe, hit the like button, all of that good stuff. Do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe because I want to be able to show you guys how delicious this is. This is the best $12.99 liquor you will ever buy, and it's Old Overheart. It's got a fantastic palette, great flavor. You can do it over rocks, you can do it over a couple things. I'm gonna show you some cool ways to drink this and enjoy this, uh, $12.99. All right. So whiskey number two, we bring in the line by Grainstone. And Grainstone, again, this is a line that is uh, specifically made for Total Wine. So if you want to pick it up, you can only find it in Total Wine. Go and check it out. Again, not familiar with this all at all, but they, did, they were doing free taste testings. I went in and it's got an amazing footprint. Now, again, there's many, many different terms that we use when we talk about drinking whiskeys. I like to use the word footprint because what that means for us is that it visually gives you the idea that when you drink it, and you're drinking it correctly, not too little and not a big gulp, but when you're drinking it correctly, it leaves these beautiful flavors behind, almost like when you're smelling roses, you're smelling jasmine, you're smelling the smells of a garden or a kitchen. All of these wonderful things start to come in, and this is exactly how this scotch lays down. So again, a little heavier of a footprint than McAllen, but not by much. If you guys are familiar with Glenlivet for my scotch drinkers, Glenlivet leaves a really big, deep, impressionable footprint. Sometimes it's too much for me when I'm drinking it neat. I always want to back off of that a little bit. So McAllen's always been a great choice. This just gives you a little bit more impression than that, but it is a wonderfully uh, tasting scotch and it's so incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, $34.99. $34.99. This is the big 750. As you can imagine, regular size bottle. It is so fantastic. $12.99 the old Overheart. $34.99 and we move on, right? So now, right, we're about 45, 50 bucks, right? Okay, here we go. Tex, right here. This is one of my favorites because it's got such a great little flavor. Um, you can do a couple different things. They do make them in a bourbon, like almost a non-blended, but really this is the blended version. Again, it's gonna be $34.99 at Total Wine. Um, I like it because you can move it into either a neat, if you're really bold, I like to have it over one rock so that way that, you know, it's not going to be too powerful. And at the end of the day, it kind of calms down a little bit with that flavor. But again, I'm going to do a review on this because if you're not familiar with Tex, this is one of the greatest bargains there are out there on the shelves. Now, here's the thing for, again, my whiskey drinkers, you guys are familiar with a lot of different varieties. Maybe you guys started out with Jack, then you graduated to Crown, then from Crown, you went to maybe Crown Black or uh, Gentleman Jack or whatever you did. Then you got into some deeper whiskeys. And I get a lot of people who love Angel's Envy. They love Buffalo Trace. Here's what I would tell you. I've had Angel's Envy, not a big fan, um, just because it's just got, there's nothing really to it. There's literally no flavor. So I'm not a fan of that. I am a flavor of Buffalo Trace, but again, it's got absolutely zero footprint. What I love about Tex is it does the same, um, same thing that you're gonna see with an Angel's Envy or a Buffalo Trace. The real difference with Tex is that you're gonna have a little bit more flavor in there. Again, I'll get into it in the video, but again, this is an incredible whiskey. You'll never be disappointed by it. So if you literally go blind and have never gone to Total Wine and you're like, man, you know what? Here's what Santana said. Santana said, buy these three. It's gonna be under a hundred bucks. I'm gonna be the life of the party. You're gonna be correct because you go in, you get old over heart. You can tell a story about Doc Holiday buying it and it was super pricey. Now it's $12. $12.99, not kidding, Old Overheart. Go check it out. You cannot miss that. Then this is the line, again, brought to you by Total Wine, $34.99, Tex, $34.99. And then this guy right here, this is a really nice size old-fashioned. Sometimes what happens is when you get old-fashioned mix, and this can be like your simple syrup or your sugar, right, that you need, is that these guys get pricey because it's an old-fashioned, kind of a fancy drink, and so they try to give you the big price on it. But this is a giant bottle as you can tell probably more than 12 ounces let me look real quick 
Uh, yeah, so this is actually two, 12.7 ounces. So a little bit over a beer size, right? But at the end of the day, it was $4.99. Total tax, total everything ended up being, that's right, $96. There you go, guys. So there you have it. Just a couple of different ways that if you want to get into whiskeys and you're trying to experiment, you kind of don't know what to do. Uh, you're like, man, which way do I go? I, I'm tired of buying the Jacks. I'm, buy, I'm tired of buying the Crown Royals. I want to feel like I'm starting to personalize my whiskey drinking experience. This is how you can do it. Old Overheart, Old Overheart at $12.99. This is a, a, a line, four total line. Scotch, guys. 12-year-old Scotch. You walk into the party, this thing looks like you spent 100 bucks on it, $34, right? And then finally, Tex. Now, again, just full disclosure, again, none of these brands are paying me for this video. They're not sponsoring the video. Again, I'm just a whiskey aficionado. I love to drink delicious whiskeys. Obviously, you want to do it responsibly. But again, at the end of the day, man, gosh, you really got to go out there because there's so many companies creating so many wonderful things. Again, these guys all together, I literally bought all four of them, one purchase, right? Whiskey, whiskey, scotch, old-fashioned mix, $96. So, guys, thanks so much for hanging. Be checking out the videos. Uh, you're going to see a lot more videos from me uh, very quickly, so we're going to become very regular. We're going to start over reviewing a lot of different things, not just liquors, not just whiskey. We're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff. It is called the Unscripted Channel because we go one shot, one time, and that's how it is. So, yes, we don't have all the fancy doodads and all the you know, stuff. It's not fully edited. It is unscripted. Guys, I hope you enjoy that. In this day and age of crazy technology, I hope you're enjoying that. We do love to do it candidly. We do one take. Hopefully, we get it right. And if not, it is what it is. Guys, thank you so much. Enjoy your whiskey experience. And remember, always drink responsibly. Catch you on the flip side.